Why won't you let me come with you? Why should I? I've got this far on my own, haven't I? Look, I am sorry about the way I've been acting. Just please let me try and make it up to you. And how do you think you're going to do that? I don't know. But just go and see Liberty and then come home, and I promise somehow I will make it OK. Oh, no, hold your breath. I have to go. Trouble in paradise? You know, gloating is such an unattractive quality in a man. I'm just saying what I see. What's the matter? Is Liberty OK? Yeah, she's fine. Or she will be. Now she's getting help. She's been admitted to a mental health unit. So, Brody finally accepted you were right? Yeah. Warren, thank you for believing me when no one else did. Maybe it's time to realise you're with the wrong man. The only wrong man in my life is the one that's standing right in front of me. You know, if you had never kidnapped Sophie and Sebastian, then Liberty would never have got pregnant to give me a child and none of this would have happened. All right, all right. I know that wasn't my finest hour, but how many times can I tell you I'm sorry? Me and you, Sienna, we just... we just click. You're fooling yourself. Am I? Or is that you? Thanks for letting me try and explain. I'm doing this for my sister, not for you. I really am so sorry about my behaviour recently. Yeah, and so you should be. Now, I thought I could rely on you. Before we got together, I was always just on my own. And then I met you, and I thought, here is someone that will always have your back. But you let me down. Accusing me of making things up about the people that I love. There's no excuse for that. No, there isn't. And then yesterday, when Faith was ill and I was trying to fix it, you were too busy with your waitress friend, leaving me on my own again. <laughs> Someone's had a tough time of it recently. The, the thing is... I don't want to hear about her tough time, OK? What about mine, Brody? I know what the people around here say about me. There's Sienna Blake, she's crazy. And yeah, I have been through some challenging times and yes, I have done some things that I am utterly horrified by. But pretending that Faith is ill, how could you even think that? You know, it comes to something when Warren Fox is the only person that believes you. He was just trying to get in with you. We both know he still fancies you. Yeah, well, at least someone was on my side. I would have thought that you, of all people, would know how important that was. What's that meant to me? Just imagine for a minute if I had questioned what you told me about Buster. Why are you bringing that up? Because it's the same thing! No, it's not. What he did to me and me not buying what you said about my daughter are two very different things. Your daughter? Oh, Sienna, you know I didn't mean it like that. You wouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. No, you have made it quite clear that I am not part of your little family. <sighs> You're being ridiculous. It's too late, Brody. We're done. <sighs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look it. Well, neither do you, if I'm honest. I've uh, had a bust up with Silver. Why do men have to make it so complicated? Well, Silver doesn't seem the complicated type. What's happened? It's a long story, but I only try to do what's right by my family. And he doesn't understand? No, he doesn't want to understand. He feels threatened, so he brings up my past. Well, it is a tad checkered. Says you. It's not you pulled. <laughs> Yeah, well, paying for them now. My previous errors of judgment have come back to haunt me too recently. Is that why you've been crying? I won't go into the details, but 
Liberty hasn't been well. She's a bit ditzy, but she's a nice girl, so I'm sorry to hear that. She means everything to me. And I knew something wasn't right. But Brody wouldn't believe me. He thought I was making it up to serve my own ends, and... I just thought he knew me better than that. <clears throat> what? Us two. We are what some would call self-destructive, aren't we? Yeah. We try to be the best person we can for the men that we love when they think we're just car crashes anyway. And do you ever think, like, is it even worth it? Using all that energy, trying to be good, when really, maybe we should just embrace the women that we are anyway. Is that you or me? Hey, it's me. Listen, I hated seeing you like that before. But I've got a great way to take your mind off your problems. So why don't you call around? I've uh, got to go. Yeah, I have to be somewhere too. Oi! We're survivors, me and you. We'll be good, you know. Yeah, of course we will. Sorry, I can't... Straight to voicemail again. I stuff for good this time, haven't I? It's not been your finest hour, mate. Why didn't Mercy tell me there was another secret? Because she was protecting her stupid nana. It was mine, and I asked her to keep quiet about it. But you still shouldn't have questioned her suitability as a mother. Yeah, I know. So, why did you? just came out. I wish you'd answer a phone so I could tell her that. That apology would be better face to face rather than on the phone. Hey, I bet she's on her way home right now. You and Sienna are solid. Were? Yeah, she's annoyed at you, but it's been a tough week. Now it's over, she'll probably calm down a bit. Do you really think so? Yeah. I bet she's on her way home right now. So you've come to take me up on my offer to cheer you up, have you? 